hey guys welcome to my channel so right now on my server if i search into it there is no program no process running which is listening to port 80 now in case if you don't know port 80 is port for http it's a default port on a browser when you go and you type something like moneyritika.xyz or any website it sends if you're writing http and not https then what will happen is the browser sends a request to the server on port 80 and if there is any process aka program is using port 80 and listening to it and giving a proper response basically that program is web server so i'm going to install that program and that program is nginx let me install nginx so as you can see it's a pretty simple thing like just type it and install it so it's installed so now the nginx service must be running let me see the status so as you can see the nginx service is running so if i go to my domain my xyz as you can see there is nothing happening you know my page is not running anytime you see something like this you try to make a request but things are not working it's most likely the port is blocked and by default port 80 is blocked basically so you have to type ubuntu firewall ufw allow 80 so let me just open port 80 and let me press enter and boom so as you can see we made an http connection to this nginx server and this website is uh, what nginx gave by default but we can change it and we have to change that i mean look at this we cannot work with this so what we have to do is we have to go to etc slash nginx which is where the configuration exists for nginx as you can see this is nginx config nginx actually run if you do psox grab nginx nginx run two process one is master process and other is worker process so master process spawns other worker process and worker process basically listen to the connection so right now in my nginx by default only one worker process is running so if one process can handle 726 connections at one time so if thousand people try to load my website at one time they won't be able to make connection because only one worker process is running so this is little bit some stupid insight which you don't care about so let me open nginx.configuration there are lots of settings since it's a web server it's not easy to configure it it's not just one variable thing there are some directives there are some terms which you have to understand so you might have to watch some videos and learn from documentation and stuff so but in order to just set up a simple website you have to ignore all of this all you have to do is notice this thing which is here on let me set up a line number online number 6060 so this is uh, include nginx slash site enabled so basically whatever site you want to host on this web server you have to do its configuration separately in some other file and those files needs to be in site enabled so let me close it and go to site enabled directory as you can see this is default so by default we get this and there is no hidden file let to ls hyphen l I like hyphen l so default is actually a link to another file which is present in site available so this functionality is there to basically make the configuration a little bit modular i use freebsd and in my freebsd i only get uh, one configuration which is this nginx.conf and all the sites which you configure you can configure inside this or you can you know do something like this manually but by default this is how nginx comes in FreeBSD. So let me go to site available and let me create uh, some other file like something like my this my site okay. So my site let me open it and here we can configure our website why is site available and then sites enabled so this is because you might have like tens or hundreds of sites here actually not hundred just five few sites like five six and in site uh, enabled you can just make a link so basically you can have some garbage files like some websites which you don't want to up all the time let me go to my site here and let me do the configuration so it's pretty simple to do configuration for just one website so you write this server directory you might don't understand it just uh, copy paste stuff sometimes you have to do it so let's listen to port number 80 and uh, listen to port number the same thing but for ipv6 so 80 after this we have to give a server name in my case it's moneyritika.xyz so if anybody come to this domain uh this directive is going to handle it if i type something like a test.moneyritika.xyz then uh it will get created for some subdomain we'll look into it later so after this we have to give the directory where our website will stay so right now there is no directory but i'm going to just type a dummy so my 
site so we'll create this folder later you can also define what default files which uh, you want to give so for example uh, when you go to this folder you might don't want to write the html page for example uh, file.html and you want to search for this file by default and get displayed so you can just type file.html here so this is basically what index is so let me just type index.html i think and at last uh, i'm going to type here location slash and the purpose of this directive is just to tell what to do if only this location get called so here i added this code which is just to handle 404 error you can just ignore it this is just something which needs to be there now let me save it and quit it and let me make a link to this etc nginx site available my site to etc nginx site enabled and press enter now make sure to type the full path otherwise it uh, won't work i guess so this is done now let's just create our website so go to war and then www and create a my site okay i already created my site so this is just a index.html so it's just pretty simple you know welcome to website that's it welcome to my website so now uh, before restarting our process of nginx which is the daemon the system d service uh, you can type this command nginx hyphen t to check uh, whether the configurations which you did is correct the syntax is okay or not so press enter yeah it's correct so sudo see our system ctl restart nginx that's it so let me refresh this page and voila we got our website so this is this is pretty cool so thanks for watching this yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now